everybody, it's Brandy Nichelle B. Thank you for clicking on my video. Could you just do me one little favor before we get into this topic? I want you to click subscribe so that you'll know the minute I upload a video. Have you ever been able to get the girl initially, but then after the first date, she goes ghost on you? Yeah, okay. You probably said something or did something really stupid, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can avoid that and how to get to your second date. But first, if you've been unsuccessful in even getting a date with the girl, here's the first tip in getting her to go out with you. Step one is approach. When you first meet a girl, no matter where you are, you wanna start up a meaningful conversation. For example, you can ask her how her 2019 is going so far. This will indicate to her that, ah, he's interested in me and not just looking down at my chest. This will open up a meaningful dialogue to intrigue her. Now, if your approach, is to message her on Facebook or on Instagram. Before you even message her, take a look at your account. If your account is screaming sleazy or cheesy, you need to do some tweaking, you need to take some, down some photos, then do that. But if you can look at your profile and it's like, oh, it's professional, you know, it's like your hobbies, um, you know, your business, then that's presentable profile. If you have a page that screams junk, sloppy, sleazy, she'll leave your message on red. Number two, once you've gotten her at a good conversation mood and a good state of mind, ask her out. Don't ask for her number. You should say something like, you know what, you should let me take you out to dinner. You seem really good to talk to. Or, you know, let me treat you to dinner. Something like that. Number three. Plan a nice dinner date. Most women love it when you take charge and take the lead and you can plan a nice dinner date um, for you guys to go to and it's a nice restaurant. If you wanna take the approach of asking the lady where she wants to go, be prepared for the answer because if she chooses a restaurant that's too expensive and you can't afford it, it's gonna suck when you have to tell her that you guys can't go. But don't worry, here's a tip to kind of deter um, her restaurant choice. What you can do is compliment the restaurant that she, cho that she chose. You can say, oh, this restaurant looks really nice, really cool. Here's another option. Choose a restaurant that's the same quality as far as ambiance, but that's a little less expensive. Present it to her and see what she says. It is a major turnoff to a woman if you say something like, oh, you know what, this restaurant is too expensive. Let's go somewhere more economical. Please don't do that. Number one, if you can't afford to go on dates, dinner dates, then don't take the girl out. Don't ask her out. And number two, avoid asking a woman where she wants to go. So the best approach to this is to plan the date yourself and choose a nice restaurant that's decently priced. Now, this is the most important tip. While you're on the date, you want to talk about things that are really intriguing, that are um, you know, thought provoking. I'll tell you a turn on for women is when you talk about business, investments, things that you have going on for yourself. If you're not quite there yet, if you don't own a business or if you don't really have anything going on, you're kind of in between jobs, you're trying to, you know, work it out, that's, that's cool. Talk about your ambitions, talk about your goals. You guys can talk about your goals together as long as it's leaning toward something meaningful. The conversation is intriguing and, and, thought-provoking. Trust me, fellas, these types of conversations are a major turn-on for a woman. Number five, play it cool. Now, there was a little bit of confusion when I said this in my girl chat video, the holiday one. I'm going to link it in my uh, video description, so if you want to go back and watch that one, feel free to click on it in the description. But I talk about um, men playing it cool. What I mean is, don't act thirsty. Like, don't be trying to touch me. Don't be trying to be too affectionate so soon on the date. Like, I don't want you rubbing my leg. I don't want you, you know, don't touch me. <laughs> I don't know you. We're on the first date. Play it cool. Keep it calm. Like, just, you know, act like a normal person and talk to me. Get to know me. Don't be trying to rub up on me. And please do not ask the girl to have sex with you. That is the most annoying and disgusting thing. Do not do that. Now, if you're feeling like this girl is really into you, like if she's not constantly on her phone, if she's not constantly looking around, if she's just focused on you, then you might be able to get a kiss at the end of the night. But you have to feel the situation out first. I would not recommend it unless you are sure that she's gonna wanna kiss you. Once the date is over and it's time to go home, don't ask her to go inside. Don't try to make an excuse to go inside of her apartment. 
simply compliment her, tell her how beautiful she looked tonight, tell her how much you enjoyed the conversation, and leave it at that. This will surely trigger a positive last impression, and I'm sure you'll get a second date. That's all the tips that I have. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have other tips to share, please leave them in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.